Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are returning. My name is Miss Irene. I am a mindset and manifestation coach and here you can come learn all about how to create the best life possible. And today I want to talk about how we go about manifesting, how this actually works because what I'm seeing is a lot of confusion around this. I want to sort of demystify this process to give you guys a better understanding, especially for those of you that are new. As we have more and more people coming into the space and finding out about the Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard, I think it's really important to make sure that we start with a solid foundation. And if you are very familiar with Neville Goddard, if you are very familiar with the Law, this can help serve as a, a good reminder or a good boost of inspiration for you. <laughs> but the biggest thing being, I wanted to have a video that people can turn to when they're new and trying to have a grasp of this. And if you are not new to the law, you, but you have a friend or family member that is interested in trying to learn more, you can definitely send them this video. <laughs> so that said, if you happen to be interested in manifestation and conscious creation, definitely subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I release new videos every week. If you enjoy this content and you want to help me out, you can hit the thumbs up button. This will help to boost my content to wider and wider audiences so more people can find this really helpful information. And if you are interested in any of my resources such as working with me one-on-one, -on -one, my workshops and courses, or my brand new group coaching program, I have links for all of that down in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. In the last year or so, and especially in the last six to nine months, I have noticed more and more people coming into the Law of Assumption, finding out about the Law of Assumption. This is really beginning to take off, so to speak. And it's wonderful to see, but at the same time, I'm noticing that there is still quite a bit of confusion around this. And with more people talking about the law, they're bringing a lot of their limitations and limiting beliefs into it. Because what I'm hearing from other people is that things like you can't manifest certain things or setting a cap on what is and is not possible and things like that. So I really was inspired to make this video to sort of break down how all of this works and how we actually do this, <laughs> how we're actually manifesting, because for many of you watching, you know that this is something that we're already doing all of the time. We're no stranger to manifestation. We're just conscious of it now. And a very common question that I get all the time is if it's actually possible to do anything, like are we literally able to do anything? Is that even a thing? Or is there a limit somewhere? Are there certain boundaries to what we can experience? What are the possibilities? And are there any limitations to those? And the short answer is, yes, of course, you can manifest anything. No, there are no limits or caps or boundaries on what is possible and what you can experience. If there is something that you desire, you can in fact experience it in the 3D. Hands down, period, full stop, do not pass go, do not collect $200, it's done. And the next question is, well, how the hell is that possible? Because people have free will, people have, you know, their lives. You can't change certain things, like the past, you can't change the past, that's already a done deal. You can't t travel through time, that's crazy talk. And there are a lot of coaches that teach that revision does not actually change the past or that it just changes your memories or changes how you feel about the past and doesn't actually alter time itself. And I am here to say, not true. <laughs> that is not true. You are in fact altering the events of the past when you revise, hence why it is such a powerful tool. Okay, Missy, but how the hell, what, how the hell does that even work? And this is all possible due to the fact that creation is finished. Everything is already complete. Now, what does that mean? That means that all possibilities, all different outcomes, all situations, events, past, present, and future, 
different versions of every person already exist. That means that if you can conceive it, it already exists. And this is because we live in a quantum universe. This is because there are parallel realities that look some identical to this one and some that are vastly and wildly different. Every possible outcome situation, every version of every person already exists in one of literally infinite realities that exist and that we can actually experience. The truth is that anything is possible to us because time is a complete illusion. The concept of time is something that is literally made up. <laughs> it's not real. This conception of the past and future do not exist in the 3D. They are all outcomes and possibilities and exist as hypotheticals until we move into them or until we shift into that reality or that state of consciousness. And all things are possible to you to manifest because time is a complete illusion. There is no such thing as linear time. We are not moving through a straight linear scope of time that consists of the past, the present, and the future. That's not an actual thing. <laughs> we have the perception of it, but it is a very clever illusion. What is actually happening in any given moment is we are picking and selecting and choosing different realities also known as states of consciousness to experience and we move through these states of consciousness and we choose which state of consciousness or reality to move into based on our assumptions and beliefs based on what we assume is true hence the law of assumption <laughs> in any given moment in every given moment based on the beliefs and assumptions you carry you're going to choose the outcome or the reality which you're going to move into next. And we're doing this all the time. We're just not aware of it. We're not aware that we're doing it. And we have been doing this our entire lives. And this is why it can seem like we get stuck in these patterns or these loops and these habits because whatever we believe or whatever we subscribe to, whatever we assume, determines the ultimate outcome. So for example, if you have the assumption that money is hard to come by and that you never have enough money and that something always happens and you're always broke, then that is what you are going to be selecting subconsciously. You're not going to be aware that you're doing it, but that's what's going to happen. Maybe every time you come into a little bit of money or you start saving a little bit of money, something happens and you end up having to pay out a lot and you're broke again. Maybe your car breaks down, maybe a kid gets sick, you know, you name it, you lose a job. The reason that it seems like our lives are always so predictable <laughs> is because of the assumptions and the beliefs that we ultimately hold. And these assumptions and beliefs are how we are moving unconsciously into these different parallel realities. And we are rapidly moving in and out of different states or realities so fast that it appears to be one continuous motion. It gives the appearance like it's just a stream of movement, but really it is just hopping and selecting. So we're not even manifesting or creating something per se. We're not creating something out of thin air miraculously appears in our physical world. But instead, we are choosing and we are selecting, we are moving in and out of these realities. And we can ultimately do this consciously as well. We don't have to continue to select states or realities that are not desirable and that we don't want to experience. We can, at any time, begin to choose different outcomes and different states or different realities that we want to embody. And we do this through the most wonderful and powerful tool that we have, our imagination. You can think of your imagination like a door, like a doorway to any 
state or any reality you so choose. If you can imagine it, if you can think of it, if you can conceive it, it is an actual experience that you can move into and you can embody. But we must first, in order to change our outcomes, in order to change our experience, we must move there in imagination first. And this is why we are always told to live in the end. We want to imagine that desired outcome, whatever that looks like. We want to, in imagination, imagine ourselves as already being there, as already having the thing that we want or already being the person that we desire to be. And in ways in which we could never consciously figure out, we will be moved through different realities in order to get to that final outcome, whatever that looks like. So if you're trying to manifest a specific person, for example, you want to imagine what it would be like if you were now with that person, if you were now in that wonderful desired relationship with them. And you want to be there in imagination and give it as much of the tones of reality or give it as much description as possible. Play with the idea, ask yourself the question, what would a day in the life be like with me and my person together, already married and madly in love? Because here's the thing, whatever that desired outcome, whatever that reality is, already exist. That imaginal act is a solidly real outcome. It is a physical reality that you can experience. And if you imagine that end state, you will naturally be moved through a series or a bridge of events or different realities to get you from where you are now to ultimately where you want to be. This is why we're told to not worry about the how it's going to happen or mess with the middle of it, condition things to happen a certain way, because all of this is done subconsciously. All we need to do consciously is imagine what that would be like if you were now married to your specific person and live that in imagination until you feel it, until you begin to feel the relief and the satisfaction of it, until you begin to feel that sense of it's done. Because once you do that, you have selected that reality as an experience. And as long as you remain faithful to that assumption, you will in fact see it unfold for you. Because there is already a version of your specific person that is married to you and madly in love with you. Since all of creation is finished and all things exist in one of literally infinite realities, that means that there must be a reality where you and your specific person are married. And so you set the dial in your mind by imagining you and your person married and what that would look like and how that would feel. And then in a way that you could never consciously conceive of, a bridge of incidents will unfold that will bring you to that desired outcome. And we can do the same thing with the past. And this is something that I get often is about revision and changing the events of the past because the past, like the future, already exists. All of the outcomes that could have happened already exist. Just because you experience a certain state or one reality does not mean that you cannot imagine that something else happened instead. In the same way that we manifest for the future, we can absolutely manifest for the past. So let's say, for example, that you have received some terrible news. What you would do then is instead of just accepting that terrible news, you would imagine that you received some good news instead, that you had received another outcome, some, that something different had happened, something more desirable happened instead. And that is going to move you into that state or reality based on the timeline of that new event, that new memory, versus keeping you on the timeline of that old memory instead. So by changing the events of the past, 
you are also ultimately changing the events of the future. This is why no matter what your physical circumstances may look like right now, no matter what the events of the past unfolded as, no matter what it looks like, it feels like, even if it feels that the entire world is against you and that the odds are very much not in your favor, none of that matters. This is why circumstances never matter. Because regardless of what you see around you right now, there is in every single moment, the freedom of choice, the freedom to choose what we are going to accept as true for us and what we assume or believe is going to happen. We have that freedom in every moment because every moment is a brand new blank slate. And this is why we never have to fear our reactions. This is why we never have to fear the events that happen to us. This is why we never have to fear that just because something looks impossible now that we can't experience it. It doesn't matter what happened or what seems to be happening at this moment. You can right now choose to imagine a better outcome, a better scenario, a more desirable one instead. And this is what we are aiming to do for all of it, for everything. We can now in this moment choose to live our life and select what we would rather have experience instead. We can choose in every moment to create a whole new outcome and move into a whole new reality that looks wildly different from this one because that reality already exists. This is a quantum universe. And no matter what it looks like now, it never, ever, ever has to stay that way. Your imagination is the most powerful tool at your disposal. And by utilizing your imagination to imagine what that would look like if you now were living that perfect and completely fulfilling life that you desire to live, there are literally no limits. There are no limitations to what we can imagine. Your imagination is the doorway to any reality you so choose. And there is absolutely no limitations to what you can imagine. And for this reason, literally anything is possible. And if we do this, if we use our imagination to begin to imagine ourselves as the version, as the person that we desire to be, that is how you will manifest literally anything that you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, if you know anyone who is new to the law and needs a breakdown as to how we're doing this and how this works, feel free to shoot them this video. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in checking out any of my other resources, I have links down below to my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my blog, my social channels, my podcast, my workshops, and all of that good stuff. I've got a ton of resources down in that description box, so don't forget to check that out. Also, do not forget to check out the other videos on this channel. Don't forget to check out my Manifestation Fundamentals playlist. Each video goes into a different topic, but it all talks about how to manifest the very best life possible. So until we meet again, you guys, as always, please take care, be well, and never forget literally anything is possible. Never forget how powerful you are. Happy manifesting, guys.